Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventure. And I'm Lunchbox. And on this episode, it's a Beta Brewing's Strawberry Lager. Strawberry. Yeah. It's Man, summer. I love strawberries. And you know where we live, strawberries are a big thing around here and they're in season. So, yeah. Um, we were talking about this a little earlier. Uh, he and I are on the same page. We kind of like strawberry flavored stuff more than we like actual strawberries. Mm. Um, so, really did they do they brew this with real Yeah, this is real, real strawberries. Yeah. Real strawberries, ladies and gentlemen. So, is it paired? Please be red or pink, or at least show us some. You know, oh, you, right. want, you want to open it? Yep. Let's open it. It's four point two percent alcohol, so it's just you know kind of a mild one. Oh, we'll get that later. All right. Okay. I missed. It's not pink or red. Oh well. And you know what? I think I can smell it from here though. Can I? Yeah. Like, I'm not even nose in it, and I can smell it. Well, so it says, uh, Juicy Ripe Louisiana Strawberries, harvested at the peak of season. Give this crisp lager its strawberry flavor and aroma. Ooh, that smells like strawberry and beer. Mm -hmm. um, it's really hazy. Um, Damn, it smells good, though. It laces pretty. What, um, do we know what the alcohol is on this? 4-2. 4-2. So it's a drinking beer. Oh, well, let's drink it. Though. Um, it's not bad. It's got a but, hint of like creaminess too, which I think is kind of cool. I'm not. I'm not sure if that's creamy or syrupy. No, no to me it kind of tastes creamy, um, and it it smells more like strawberry than it tastes like strawberry. It well, tastes I more like rather, it, it tastes more like, like beer. Um, well, it's good. I mean, I want it to be beer. So this is this is an odd observation. Um, this tastes like a base beer that they just put different flavors on. I don't know that that isn't what happens. <laughs> um, because it's beer, it tastes like a, a good beer. I'm not saying it doesn't, but it just tastes like a beer. It doesn't taste like it was brewed with any kind of craft or like, I don't think it was brewed with the strawberry juice. It must have been added later. Um... But yeah, that's, that's says, kind of what it tastes like. It's like it's Abita makes good beers, but it tastes like one of their regular beers. It's just had a squirt of strawberry juice on top. It says that it was uh, made with pilsner and wheat malts, tradition hops, and the finest Louisiana grown strawberries, resulting in a light gold lager with a subtle haze. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I've maintained for years that a lot of times simple is way better because you can't hide things in simple. That's true. And I'm not saying they screwed up anywhere other than that. It tastes kind of basic. Yeah. I would uh, say it's, it's just, not a horrible tasting beer. They didn't it's make just it too simple. Um, it, it has it has a flavor I've come to know from Abita. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost I almost feel like I'm um, my amateur palate if I if you blindfolded me and gave me one, I could be like, oh, I don't know what it is, but it comes from Abita. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you, you get you get to where you start uh, liking stuff. Uh, I would definitely say this is a very summery beer, and I think this would be like nice for like picnics and stuff. It has a nice full body to it. It has that kind of tart sweet thing going on, but that's like that's it. the strawberry. Um, it's not overpowered by a no, hop or a malt. Not at all. Um, everything's well balanced. There's none of that um, piney, dank hop or Yeah, it's like nothing that. like that. It, it does have the, um, it's a weird tang sting or whatever that, that Abita has. That, you know, it's it's not, it's not even hop forward. It's just, yeah, there's hops in there. It's mm -hmm. the, that might be what I, what I identify them by. Um, because they have, I'm sure they have their own their own strain of hops that they use. I don't know. My thing is, is I just keep wanting to drink more of it. So, yeah, it's not a bad. Mm. So let's get down to it. Did, did you, you dig it? Meh. I did. I think it's good. I like it. Did you have another? I will. I, I probably would. I wouldn't say no to this one. This is not one of those that like I put at the bottom of the barrel. It's just not something I would seek out. 
So there you um, go. There's the next one. <laughs> I think one of the best things about this beer is this is a way you can gateway people into things. Oh, yeah, this is one of the gateways. Yeah, I really yeah, like I can it. see that. If you if somebody's already drinking um, full body beers and you wanted to kind of ease them into the the craftier things, this is a this is a good example. It's a fruit beer that whole. Th this one is. I will. You know what? I'm doing this right now off the cuff. Mm -hmm. This is going to get that extra point. It earned that extra point, and this is because the whole point of this beer was. I've, yeah. I've said this for years that if if you got to stick a, a piece of fruit in your beer to drink it, then you need to find a different beer. And this is one of those beers. That's that's what this does. If you're one of those people that have to have something added to your beer, some kind of fruit flavor, this is the beer for you because it's already added in. Like, yeah, I, I've always maintained. I, I say that about a lot of things. You know, if you have to add this to your barbecue sauce, find a different barbecue sauce because mm -hmm. there's a millions to choose from, and I promise you, one has the flavor you're looking for. Maybe this one has the flavor you're looking for. I don't know. Let us know in the comments while you're down there. Smash that like button. Subscribe to this guy because he brings you brand new stuff three times a week. Now, put a number on it. It's an eight. It's an eight for you. Well, I was thinking it was a meth beer. Um, Avita does not really screw up. Um, I've never had anything bad from them, and I was just going to give it that middle of the road five. But like I said, it gets the extra point because they did that thing that I, I said everybody should look for. Um, you tricked me into it, Abita. It's a good beer. It really is. It's it's there's I can't knock it other than it tastes like everything else from Abita, but they do it right. So yep. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Until your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.